All right, we're gonna start out at this angle. We're framing up here, guys. We're at the Secret Shred House. Oh my God, are we still in Oregon? It's amazing. The river blows this breeze right up in here, and this area here is so cool. But probably not as cool as this Mercedes we're gonna go look at right now. What, what made this guy do a Mercedes? Like, oddball. Oddball. We've seen Excessive bring cars, and they have the most excessive cars in their brand. I mean, who would drift? This. Probably that guy. <laughs> That's not typical. Yes. My name's Ryan. My car is a 500 SL from 1990. I work for Excessive Manufacturing. Don't you own Excessive? I do. Okay, this is the <laughs> big boss of Excessive. So he's being real humble here. What, what did we do to this thing to make it as badass as it is today? Uh, got a set of custom suspension. BC's in the front, BC cantilevers in the rear. Um, transmission adapter, We're running a Nissan 300CX trans. Weld the differential out back. Scrap the old fuel injection system on the factory engine and put on a standalone aftermarket with uh, ignition control, timing control, and fuel control. So, what system are we using on this car? It's run by a fast. Whoa! All right, I got to hear this thing pull up early and it sounds rowdy. You know, I'm a V8 guy, but this is Mercedes V8. Look how big it is, though. And I, I want you guys to go back, but look at this huge distributor hung on the front of the cam gear. That's Mercedes for you. That's not Mercedes. That's not? Oh, <laughs> you just got All right, that's not Mercedes. You put this on here? Yeah, that's Ford. What? Oh. Yeah, I had to adapt. They had dual distributor caps. Okay, that's what it was. It was dual distributor caps. Those had to go because Mercedes is too expensive to replace. <laughs> we went with the big format cap spreads the spark out so you don't get cross spark. So this had two small distributor caps that went on here and here before, right. correct? Yeah. Okay. So you just put a block off on this? Thing? So this no, is- No, that's the trigger. Okay. That's a Ford magnetic trigger. And that triggers the distributor? That sends the signal back to the ECU, which triggers the coil uh, to fire up the distributor. Wow, you made more- <laughs> Jumped a bunch of wires. Yes, this is excessive for you guys. Back to the excessive. Honestly, I've never seen one of these engines before, but this intake thing is bananas. Where is the throttle body? Down there, dude. That's so weird. Obviously not to Mercedes people. That's where the factory <laughs> throttle body is. And your future plans we had discussed before are going to be what? Turbo. Maybe two or turbo. one? One big turbo? I think it's gonna sit right where the air cleaner is. Wow. Can't wait to see the exhaust set up on this because this is a tight, tight motor. And now he's got to bring these four cylinders and these four cylinders up into that area over there. Yeah, I'm gonna lose some passenger footwell. <laughs> and I believe this is the second cantilever suspension we're gonna see all custom done by them. Dude, that's crazy. That's cool. Look at this dashboard. Oh. Whoa. This reminds me of Knight Rider. What kind of power are we making to the rear wheels? Probably around 300. Nice. How much does this thing weigh? Um, when I got it, it weighed 38.50. Wow. It went on a small diet, now it's down to 3,200. That's still kind of a lot of a diet. The seats were 80 pounds each. Dang. Whoa. It probably had like heated seats. Oh yeah. So are you gonna fire this thing up and let us uh, hear it rip? This isn't your grandfather's typical Mercedes. What do you have for exhaust on this? Straight two and a half to uh, a junkyard muffler. Oh, muffler. <laughs> yeah. wow. Are we going to be able to scumbag you into doing something stupid with this? Uh, we'll see if I can do something. Hopefully it won't be too stupid. It's never I mean, too stupid. I don't want to see you like damage it at all, but I'd sort of like to see these tires spin a lot. <laughs> what? Really? What did I miss? <laughs> I walk away for five seconds and then they do a whole build breakdown without me. I was trying to do Hurt's job. You guys cut me out? Yeah, you out. You need Gucci's, man. Oh! <laughs> wait, 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 wait! Do your Gucci got a bottle opener? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. And that's I'm ready why. To party. And that's why you're bad, Daddy Brad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is this thing sick or what? I hear it's got a V8 in it. Yeah, it's got a V8. It sounds pretty nasty. All right, all right, all right. All right. 
Well, I'm, I'm here for the good part, so. He's not <laughs> going to church, I'll tell you that. No? No, 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 no. All right. Excessive has brought a level to drifting that I think is nuts. Like, their choice in cars is Style. Unique. They, they got it a great style. So it's a, the, the, they pretty much own this old car, sleeper car, Steve. Yep. Unsuspecting. Super unsuspecting. He's already corked inside. Oh yeah, they're toast, huh? Yeah. Dang, look at that dash. <laughs> Is that factory? There's no, no way that's no, factory. No. That's beautiful. No. That's Intellitronics, kid. That's nice, man. This thing is cool. Thanks. How you feel after that? Oh, it's a lot of fun. Feels good to throw it around, huh? You bet. You ready to wrap this thing? Yep. Brad, you want to help him wrap yeah. it? Hell yeah. There's a wrap! Brad. Yeah, you got it. He's so gross. Oh.